just 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 hear my intro out real quick. I promise it'll be fast. Most YouTubers have a direct incentive to put everything into the A and S tier and tell you everything is great because that's what gets you the most fans. Not everything can be A or S tier. That's just the fact of life. If you've ever seen any like informational breakdown on statistics, you'll know about the bell curve. Most things have to be average because that's what the average is. If the if you're going to tell me that the average is top tier, then either you don't know what you're talking about or you're just pandering to people because you don't want to risk alienating your audience. So I just want to get that out of the way right now because I watched like five tier list videos from different people and it was gross. It was like 80% of the items are top tier. And you can get away with saying that because this game is not hard. Everything is viable. Everything will work in Maelstrom. They overbuffed everything with the skill tree rework that now you can just throw a gray item on a well-built talent tree and go beat Maelstrom with it. So, but I do want to talk about things and I am a sweaty tryhard min-maxer. So my opinion is coming from someone who is not a Warhammer fan. In fact, I think most Warhammer fans are insufferable uh, idiots who get, they're like literal man children. You got guys in their 40s that are like so obsessed with their space marines that if you even like suggest that they might lose a fight, they'll like fucking flip the table on you. So, uh, you know, I, I, that's why, that's why I'm fully comfortable saying most of the Luciuses are pretty not, you know, they're not phenomenal because I'm not a diehard fucking, oh, I'm jacking off to Krieg. Oh God, I'm going to coom Krieg. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Now let's start talking. Let's start talking tiers and information. So, uh, the combat shotguns are in the worst place in the entire game. Like it's actually hard for me to put into perspective just how bad the combat shotguns actually are. Uh, and I think, I think you'll see everything you need to see right here. Look, we literally can't even kill this row of enemies. The dude, that trapper survived. Holy fuck. Okay, I know these things are bad, but I wasn't prepared for it to be that fucking bad. Now, let me pull out a meta gun. Because again, remember, everything has to be compared to the high end. So you can get an idea of where all the balance lies. So ignoring weak spots, even if we don't hit weak spots, we can kill two rows of people before the first row respawns. Combat shotguns literally can't even kill the first row. How about the fire shotgun? The best shotgun, fully golded. No, 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 no. A, a gray columnus is like twice as good as a gold shotgun. Second off, I also want to talk real fast about the, uh, the, I, I, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. Like, I, I feel like I just time walked back to fucking TF2, uh, meet your match update. Why is random bullet spread in this game? Why, why is random bullet spread in this game? And how the fuck is this a problem in 2023? Full board. Uh, didn't proc right there. But watch, if I, oh, look, it proc that time. So th that was a beautiful example. Literally the same shot at the same area on the same enemy from the same distance. And sometimes it procs full bore. Sometimes it just doesn't proc full bore. See, watch one of these times. It's just going to randomly proc. I don't really want to sit here and waste your time, but you already saw the first example. I'm so glad I got this first try. Look, even if you move closer, look, random bullet spread shouldn't be a fucking thing. These bullets should come out in the same area at the same time, every time. Like, it is absurd to me that we even have this issue of blessings sometimes just not procking, even if you maximize the chances of it. That is, that is like insane to me that that's even a thing. Uh, the Headhunter auto guns. Okay, we're gonna start moving much quicker. I just wanted to talk about the shotguns because they are noticeably badly balanced. Uh, the single target Headhunters, like the problem with Headhunters is this right here. So not only am I using the full auto mod to shoot them faster than you're going to be able to shoot them, but like if you get the headshots, they do more DPS than most weapons and they're better than most weapons. However, unless you're like a literal got, see like right here, you can get 2000 DPS, but just go straight down to body shots and you lose literally like 60 something percent of your damage. 
Losing 60% of your damage because you aren't hitting headshots constantly, that, that, that actually scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, okay, I hit my macro from the other video, sorry. That, I genuinely, like, just saw the voice of god in front of me. So, uh, the two, the two round burst headhunter has this other fucking problem where it is doing so much less damage than the single shot that, like, these guns are perfectly balanced. The problem is... Perfect balance sucks. Perfect balance is everyone's character is a gray blob with the same ability and every gun is the same stats. That's perfectly balanced. So, yeah, this does, this has double the fire rate, double the shots, but it also has half the damage. So it meets like this, like these guns are functionally fucking identical. The heavy last pistol is really more of a zealot weapon. It's pretty good on Zealot. It's kind of whatever on Veteran. It's the same thing as the Headhunters. If you are a Shroud level headshot god, it goes all the way up to like up here. But come on, you're not. We both know you're not. I know I'm not, and I definitely have better aim than most people. I, I, I literally score in like the top 30 percentile in aim labs, and my aim is nowhere near good enough to make this stuff work consistently. So I know you guys, the 70% people that are below me, you guys definitely aren't fucking making it work. However, the like 30-20% of people who are above me in terms of aim, yeah, you could probably make it work. Same reason with the with the Lucius. Biggest problem with the Lucius is, is that like they just exist in the wrong game. Like they are the Luciuses, I think, are like the perfect weapon. I, I don't have anything bad to say about them. They're just not broke. You know what the problem with the Luciuses are? They just aren't broken. That's literally that's literally their problem. They're not broken. They're not overpowered. Because once you start getting to, like, up here, this is where it's, like, weapons that are noticeably strong. But I definitely think the Mark II Lucius, the fast-firing one, is the shittiest of them all. Because you're taking the whole risk-reward charge for a big shot, one shot a crusher thing, and you're kind of not doing that. Uh, the Bolter is going to get its own dedicated video, so I don't have much to say about it right here. Just know that the Bolter and the Plasma Gun fill the same role. The Plasma Gun is just better in every fucking way. Like, every single conceivable way, the Plasma Gun is just better by, like, a 10-20% margin. It reloads faster. It pulls out faster. It deals more damage per shot. It has better ammo economy. It can deal with more armored enemies fast. Well, that one might not be true. Well, no, because it has so much ammo, it'll probably kill more crushers in a side-by-side -side once you factor in reload. The three-round burst auto gun has a caveat. It is as high as it is because of the full auto mod. And this is where things like the full auto mod start kind of getting a little cheaty. But at the same time, like, I like I, I played video games for professionally for a bit. You know, like, contract esports play. So, like, I'm really afraid of things like carpal tunnel. And I don't think clicking the mouse quickly should be a skill. So when you're using full auto mod, yeah, this thing's actually pretty decent. Like, it's genuinely not bad. If you're not using full auto mod and you're playing it more like this, it becomes very underwhelming very fast. Uh, I think the Mark, I think all the Luciuses are virtually right next to each other. I just didn't want them all sitting in the same tier next to each other. I thought that would look a little goofy. Because the, the gap between C and B is virtually, like, non-existent. I just think these are just slightly worse. But we're talking literally a difference of like 1-2% on most of these. Problem with the braced auto guns. You would think I would value them higher. But uh, they have, they all suffer from a very, very fucking stupid problem to be suffering from. And that is your ability to output consistent damage at literally any amount of range is not good. <laughs> Let's say, here's the biggest thing. Something that a gun has to be able to do like mandatory that a gun can fill this role at the very least is uh okay we're up here you know we're up here we're about to make a drop down you know we just opened a door there's a drop down here that we can't recover from or come back from there's uh 20 gunners in a shock trooper gauntlet there we have to deal with them so we can drop down yeah about that Especially when you consider that these things are in direct, again, they are in direct competition with this. Perfect accuracy, fucking higher DPS, you know, near perfect accuracy. Like, dude, it's it's, it's a non-comparison. It, it's just a non-comparison. It doesn't fucking, ugh. Columnus is so fucking overpowered. The, uh, the cantrails are all good. 
I think the 12 is a little bit better just because it's more ammo efficient and it kills things a little quicker. But this one's also pretty good. Really, you could swap these two depending on what you value more. If you value the ease of use more or the ability to go the distance and efficiency, they're basically the same. Uh, I've never liked this, this last gun. I've always felt it was very underwhelming and it's still pretty underwhelming. Again, they have the same problem as the Lucius. They're just not broken. They fill a purpose. They fill a role. They fill it well. But then you have the legitimately broken guns that do the same thing as them, just better, while also doing everything else. Uh, the auto pistol is it's fine. It's like a it's just a worse revolver, really. The biggest problem with the auto pistol is the fact that the columnus exists. Are you noticing a pattern yet? The auto pistol pulls out. Like, 0.5 seconds faster than the Columnus. Here, let me just show you. So the Columnus has like a 1.5 second pullout time. Shoots really fast, really hyper high damage, very ammo efficient. Then you get to the... The Auto Pistol. Also, if you're going to leave a comment about the, the stat rolls... Dude, when you're dealing with weapons that have 50 damage, the difference between even like 10% damage on the roll and like fucking 80% is, you know, not super high. But also, if you need a super high roll perfect weapon for it to even like look remotely competitive, whereas another gun can be whatever rolled while still dominating it, like maybe that is like evidence that the gun isn't that good. Maybe stop looking for ways to be a contrarian and say that bad things are actually good if you meet these 1 in 1000 perfect conditions and realize that the fact you need to meet those conditions in the first place is what makes it not good. <clears throat> um, so this pulls out faster like a revolver and it does respectable DPS if you're close to it. So again, this suffers from the same problem as all braced guns. The effectiveness absolutely fucking tanks. This gun has a big problem in that unless you're like 5, 10 meters away from the target, it uh, it's just not very good and you run out of ammo really fast. The problem is that the Columnus exists. I, I know you're going to get sick of, you're sick of, you're already sick of hearing me say that. But the fact that the Columnus does everything this does, but it can do it from three times the range and it can do the same damage faster with like the same fire rate, it, it just hits harder. It can hit from three times the range with near perfect accuracy if you don't suck. And like, so it's just more ammo efficient. It's just more damage. And it's just like, I, I don't, you know. Like, now that this got nerfed, it no longer fills a uh, role anymore. Uh, the recon las guns are all okay. This one is pretty good. I also want to dispel some rumor real quick. Not really a rumor. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not going into the, the veteran channel in the LFG Discord anymore because it's literally like the same four or five people basically just circle jerking each other. Uh, I've, I've only posted like one message there, so this isn't a case of like me getting flamed and just deciding uh, I'm going to take my ball and go home. No, this is I, I the last two days ever since I got mentioned there, I, I looked and no, it is literally just like the same five people circle jerking over the same five, like couple things. Uh, one of them posted a video that was this and they said, guys, look at how bad the recon las gun is. And I'm like, OK, yeah, but when are you ever doing that? Like, I would counter that by saying you are deliberately doing everything possible to make the gun look bad. If I deliberately do everything possible to make the gun look good, uh, it looks not bad at all anymore, yeah? The problem is neither of those examples are realistic, like, you know, they're not realistic examples of what it would be like in an actual game. First off, testing your weapons like this on mutants is first and dumb because mutants are maniacs. And Maniacs are kind of resistant to guns, just on the whole. That's why Maniac damage is so good. So, what if we don't disingenuously look at it on a Maniac? What if we go to a realistic range you would be fighting things, and something you'd realistically want to be shooting to death? That's not bad for a Grey 354. That's not bad at all. Considering this is a Grey, and we're deliberately not hitting weak points... What if we uh, start hitting weak points? Oh, wow. It's actually... It kills in like two seconds. That's not bad at all. Considering the amount of ammo it has. See what I'm saying? 
In a realistic test, the recon las guns are okay. They're not special, they're not bad, they're just fine. And infantry auto guns have been the meta for a decent amount of time now, ever since the shredder got nerfed. You literally can't go wrong with an infantry auto gun. They are all fucking good. They have like here, look. Look, 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 look. Look, here's the thing with infantry auto guns. Right? Here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. Where is it? This is the Agrippina. Shoot this guy once. 116. Now, let's shoot this uh, with the braced version of the Agrippina. Oh, and if you want an example, this is a example where no, okay, so hold on. Let's just let's let's just literally just 154. And that's because we're super close. And this is a Reaper. Oh yeah, it's also because of brittleness. I should really take that off for this demonstration. So we were shooting 116. Now we're shooting 154. So it's not a huge DPS increase. And this is only going to be like... You're only going to be like, damn, this is kind of good. At the very closest ra of ranges. The moment you go back even like 10 meters, you're like, uh, you know... It's just kind of okay. 1100 DPS. Then we grab the normal Agrippina. And, you know, if we mix in the same couple of headshots that that one got, it's virtually the same. We probably got an extra headshot or two there. So, you know, it's like a 10, maybe 15% DPS increase. And it's only an increase if you're at a close range. Which on most things you won't be. Whereas the infantry auto guns maintain virtually like remarkably similar DPS at all ranges. Except it's easier to more consistently headshot with these. So like if you wanted to do something like this you could. So now it's like we're going toe to toe with the uh, braced for DPS at like double its effective range. So, you know, most of the time, the infantries are just kind of an upgrade. And then what do I even need to say about the plasma gun and the columnus? Like, no, seriously, what needs to be said?